Hey guys, it's me Tyler. Um, so I have a lot of screenshots and I don't have anywhere to put them and you can only put four of them at a time on Twitter. So I thought I'd just um, record a video of me and all these screenshots and uh, comment on them and that way I can just screenshot them on, on YouTube later if I need to use them. All right, so here's my partner in crime, Sly, my best buddy ever. Um, we have a very, very powerful connection, um, and I love him a lot. Uh, here's, I believe that's Heather. She's my Sinnoh champion. Um, and here's all of us having a little picnic somewhere out in the world. Um, that's my Basque Legion taking a nap. I like this picture a lot. Um, how others choose to view is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. Some very wise words from Silene that I will take to heart. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. This is some really good advice that I could use for the rest of my life. Here's my Hoenn champions. Uh, we're just missing Keegan, the Minun. There's Willy, the Flamigo. Um, blue and some Watchels. Here's all of us having a picnic on top of one of those towers. Oh, there's my friend, my Twitter friend. Just being cool and awesome. Goofing off. There's blue. That's my brother over there with his Pokemon. Here's me capturing Terra. There's Eddie and everyone else napping. Coco's sleeping behind that bush. Okay, I, all my Pokemon were just wandering off in this one. It was interesting. That's my character Ricky in Paldea. That's my character Courtney. Uh, that's actually Frozone in his pre-evolved form. Coco and I watching the sunset. Some random Azuril and Buizel. Look at that Psyduck just eating that <laughs> magic carp in the background. <laughs> oh, there's some of my Pokemon napping. My brother. I don't know if that's Skyline. Yeah, it has to be Skyline. Skyline was like, I caught three Bombardiers and only Skyline was the friendliest to me. I believe that's Barbie. There's Terra. Benry. Blue. <laughs> Cutie. There's Cliff. That is Diva. Mitzi. Eddie and I on stage. That's my characters, Yoon and Madison. They were playing hide and seek. <laughs> Blue's like right behind that bush. Very well hidden. Coco's more noticeable though. <laughs> Uh, that's where I first caught Razor.
He's really good at posing for photos, by the way. That's my brother, Miggy, and Murkrow. I believe that could be Morgana, the Murkrow. <laughs> Those little legs hold up some real great skills. <laughs> that I, I want to be like that Eddie looks so peaceful sleeping there I don't know why Skylene always has this thing where she needs to nap on top of a rock ooh a lot going on here Oh, that was a wild slaking. He's just staring off into the distance. I wonder what he's thinking about. It's my shiny giraffe rig, blue, finally. Finally com coming into my life. This is a really cool shot of, of uh, Eddie right here. Like this would have been cool to have in the back of a uh, of the of the Scarlet and Violet games on GameStop, you know, the covers. There's Barbie, her fully evolved form. Tommy. Oh, there is everybody. I was trying to take a lot of pictures in this area. Everyone looks so, like, unhappy. Yeah, Skylene likes me a lot. I like the way they have Pokemon actually eating out in the wild. Oh, these three are friends. The three of them followed me together and yeah, it was interesting. They're wild Pokemon. Here's a shiny Sudowoodo that I found when I was just walking by. My shiny Venomoth. Ooh, egg hatching. Who knows into what? All the Noibat up there in the tree look cool. I think these are some of Courtney's pics because she likes taking pictures. Those are great photos of Paldea. That's Frozone in his fully evolved form. Benry. He looks like that cat meme here. <laughs> I think that's Honeybun and Cliff. They're having a really good nap. I like the photo a lot. I think that's Tyson. Oh, the shiny teddy ursa I found. I just stole it from that ursaring. I feel so bad. And then there was an ursaring outbreak. Frozen's ice beam looks so cool. I want that on a t-shirt. Wow. Ice beam is one of my favorite moves. Also attract.
my gosh, a Gyarados outbreak. It's, it's terrifying, for sure. <laughs> this was an awkward moment. Geo is huge. He's like one of the biggest camera ups in the world. This is such this is the cutest photo of him. Oh, that was a nightmare to get. I literally named him Nightmare. Tyson really helped with that one. We just barely... It took many tries, but we were barely able to actually catch it that last time. What am I doing over here? Oh... It's Bramadonna. She loves me a lot. It's just like James Cacnea. It hurts. There's Blue and Geo. They're really good friends, actually. Very friendly with each other. Why did I take a black and white photo? I'm not sure. Oh, I was imagining this this photo being from like the 1950s or something. And I'm like w looking at photos that my grandpa had back then and these are these Pokemon that I don't even know about. No, oh, it's such an interesting idea. Mitzi looks so cute. Miggy and Morgana. <laughs> they look like they're dancing. That Azumarill is as tiny as that Meryl. Isn't that weird? Ugh, I love him. <laughs> That's Cuddles. That's Tawny. It's so cool how a Nightmare can swim. Tyson providing some shade. <laughs> oh yeah, I caught a school of of Finizen. So I had them all playing together. We're on a boat. these pictures I was trying to get a good photo for my phone <laughs> that's why they're sideways oh this scyther 
it was gonna attack me so I ran up the tower and the next thing I know it's it's flying on top of the tower it was a very scary moment <laughs> Oh yes, that's my photo right there. Aw, look how cute Ramadonna looks here. These are the Oh yeah, I sent Willy to go get that Pokeball over there. Pretty cool. That's why I love flying Pokemon. They're so useful. Walson looks sick here. He looks like a beached whale. I discovered this area. I didn't know it was here. And it was a really nice place to picnic. Except the grass was also really tall. That prime up in the tree. That was crazy. First time I've ever seen that. Oh yeah, I caught that shiny Fampy, and the other Fampy, the way they reacted, I felt bad for them, so I, I caught all of them, and, and the Don Fan too. What's that, a Kamala? Oh yeah, and an Applin, interesting. Imagine you could ride on the back of a Tropius like this, that'd be so cool. Oh yeah, this one was really funny. I never seen a rock with so many woke trios in it. <laughs> oh, a shiny pomo. Look how pink it is. It's so cute. I don't like how now it looks like the energizer bunny or something. I was on a roll with these pink. I was inspired by. I was watching the anime and, and Pink and Island. I was like, I wonder what it's like to be on an island with so many pink Pokemon. And that's when I found four pink shinies in a row. And then I put all my pink shinies together to really get that effect.
course I added my own pink Pokemon in there. That's the first time I saw a Zangoose and a Seviper fighting in the wild. I was like, whoa, they actually do fight. And that one's like huge. Oh yeah, that slow poke on that left, it was running. Like I was battling a Pokemon and it was r it ran across the ba the battlefield and then it was just like running somewhere and I was like, "Where is that slow poke running to?" It looked like it looked like it was it was in a hurry to get somewhere, so I followed it and I followed it and then it ran all the way to the water and that's where it stayed. I was like, "Dang, you had to like pee or something?" <laughs> It was ridiculous. Oh yeah, I was tired of the Belusa. I was like hyper beam. I had resolved to give up my life as an artist if that piece did not receive proper recognition. Oh my gosh. Don't we all feel that? My advice to you is simple. Be honest with yourself and do whatever your heart desires. True advice has never been spoken like that. Since Silene. Shiny Pokemon appear at a rate of 1 in 4,000. Isn't that amazing? Oh. Just hanging out with Azumarill, the creepy Pommy over here. Staring at me from the ceiling. Is that Kenny? Um uh, then I was spending time with my Zangoose. Sightseeing and stuff. Tara loves to nap. Usually when I send them out on picnics, she chooses a good spot and she takes a nap. I was like, how did I have two Pokemon out at the same time? The Neuburn looks so cool. <laughs> I was I went over here by this tree and then suddenly everyone else came over and took a nap right there next to me. Frozone always takes a nap right next to me as well. <laughs> Brahmadonna fell in the water. Wow, blue looks so cool here. With the lights in the background. Aww, she looks so peaceful. Oh yeah, I was like, 
I'm gonna open up Legends Arceus and I'm gonna go catch myself a blue Yanma because I want, I really want a blue Yanma. And as soon as I got there, there it was, and I was like, whoa, it was waiting for me. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to bring it over to Scarlet and Violet. Caught a bunch of Eevees because I went crazy. Oh yeah, there were some these weird number thingies on Shinx's head. It was very strange. What? Okay, I didn't know that could be found in the basket. Aww. It was my birthday, and these are the Pokemon I had with me. Some of my favorite Pokemon. That's when I start, started spending more time with Biscuit, and he was like my original, um, one of those. Cause then I caught one in a Terror Raid, and then I caught Honey Bun. Um, and I trained the one that I got in Terror Raid because he had a Psychic Terror type. And, um, and so yeah, I, I left Biscuit behind. So now, I, I started bonding him with, with him more, and he's actually, he has the best personality out of the three of them. It's just so friendly. There's Kenny taking a bath and looking great. I was showing him the sights. There's Buster. I think this is when I brought them over from from Alola and Ka and, and Galar. There's Tyler, my the Typhlosion. Pharaoh, the Weavile. All of them. Oh, barely 28 minutes. We're good. We're good. Uh, there's Leo the Pyroar that I want. I've been waiting for so long to bring over to Galar. I mean, to Paldea and spend some time with him. Okay, here he literally walked off all the way over there and took a nap. <laughs> he needed his space. He's like that. We're we're very. I don't know what to call it. Ooh, there are my water Pokemon playing. It's so cool seeing them, seeing all of them together. I didn't know Kenny could swim. That's like super cool. Alright, I think I'm going to stop the video here and have a part two.